Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this background setup that uses an HDRI as a lighting source but only displays a different image or gradient uh, as a background. So to start I will just remove this car over here and hide, hide all of that. Okay, if you start you probably have a cube or another model and it doesn't really matter to be honest, just use the model that you have we're going to go into the shading tab over here and you will start with the object uh, shading. I will go into the world shading and then you will probably just start with a basic background node like this. What I want to do is duplicate it using shift D and then if you have the node wrangler add-on, control shift right click and this will create a mix shader. If you don't, I strongly recommend you to enable it over here in the edit preference or just type the mix shader node and plug those two inside of it. And now I will use I will use Blender Kit, yeah, to look up for an HDRI that I want to use for lighting my model. I will pick this one, for example. And of course, it just destroys my setup, but that's not too bad. Just duplicate it over here and create another mix shader. Now I want to flip those two and add a light path node. So just like that and we will plug the camera ray into the factor. So what it does is it will use the first socket for like the background but for everything that it's like light bounces and lighting it will use the top socket, sorry, the HDRI that we have set up over here. Uh, of course, we can't see this at the moment because we don't have any model. So uh, in Blender Kit, just type PL and you will find most of my cars and assets. I will just download this Ferrari, for example. It will take a few seconds. Okay. So my models have a base mesh that's usually uh, kept intact just so you can modify them more easily, but I this, we don't need it, and I the base mesh for the windows. Okay, so you can see what it does. We have a HDRI and it's using the background as our background instead of just using the HDRI or just the background. Okay, so I'm just going to replug the camera ray like that. And now, of course, it's pretty basic with a just a dark gray, but we can pimp this up with a gradient texture. So using Control T to add a mapping node, I'm going to plug this over here. And instead of generated, I want the camera to be set. So that way I can move around and still have the same gradient from my perspective, so to speak. Okay, I want to make the gradient spherical. I want to set the scale to 1.4 and the Z like minus 800 or something like that, just so that our gradient is centered or almost centered in our frame. I will also add a color ramp to give us a bit more control. And then previewing what the color ramp does, I will bring the black closer like this. And you can see what it does like that. Okay, I will also add a floor, so a plane. I will scale it by like 50. And then since I'm using cycles, I can go into the object properties and turn on shadow catcher. This will make it so the plane is transparent for everywhere except where there is there are shadows. Very useful and very practical. I will also give this plane a darker color because that's just more realistic and cars usually tend to look better uh, with a darker colored floor. Okay, so this is quickly to show you like the potential of this. You can of course change it to use like another type of uh, pattern, uh, more extreme gradients or pretty much anything that you can think of uh, for the background, but it's a very versatile setup that allows you to easily my god, to easily iterate with different lighting setups uh, in a very short amount of time. Like I would not be ashamed of sending screenshots like of this to a client for like a preview and even tweak it furthermore 
to have like final renders that are ready to be sent to a client. And this can be used in addition to other lighting setup, but it's the one I use the most often. It's very basic, but does the job very well. So I hope this helps and I will see you in the next video.